Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. This is everything I've done in February, financially, personally, and physically. <laughs> I'm gonna start with financially just because this is a business channel and you guys probably wanna hear all about what I'm up to at my company as a 20 year old. Well, first off, I have recently got a job. <laughs> okay, it's not really exactly how it sounds, but yes, I did get a part-time job slash position at this crypto startup called refi and for those who don't know i am self-employed for the past like four years and i wanted to like basically help this project that i really wanted to help that's basically it so essentially for refi now refi is a collection and network of environmental companies in the crypto sector my project nf treehouse is also included the founder john started this to just really fight climate change that's really what it is about and we're fighting climate change with the power of web3 i don't really call this a job but i am basically running their social media account and i am doing it part-time so this is going to be like 10 hours of the week dedicated to this, maybe even five hours, five to 10 hours a week, really. And the reason why I didn't call it like a client for my agency is just because we actually accepted all the money through crypto instead of like getting an invoice and getting paid in fiat. So just because it's not going through my company, I'm just going to call it a job. And I mean, for those who want to know if I'm doing well financially, <laughs> that's a questionable answer, but I'll get into that later. But yeah, I didn't really take it for financial reasons. It's not because I wanted to make more money or I was desperate need for money, but it was mainly because like I wanted to help and Money's nice. <laughs> so I'll let you guys know how refi goes. The second thing in my career update has been going to ETH Denver. If you guys don't know, ETH Denver is a cryptocurrency conference with this year, 15,000 people. The venue this year was only supposed to handle 2,000 people. There was 15,000, I'm pretty sure. And anyways, I was actually speaking at ETH Denver for Refi DAO. You guys can see it here, or maybe some B-roll. <laughs> and yeah, I was speaking in front of a bunch of people who were into crypto, talking about how you can use crypto for climate change. And I was also talking about my project NF Treehouse. So you guys know that I have a startup where we plant trees as NFTs, and we're launching in two weeks. And if you can tell how dead my eyes are, I'm really nervous and excited, but I'm also really tired just because we've been putting so much effort and obviously with balancing my company and a tree house and refi and my YouTube channel, I am dying. I'm just gonna be venting on this video, but yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, this week has just been a lot, to be honest, but NF Tree is doing really well. We're planning to plant 60 trees and we have 60 people on our wait list, which is so exciting, which means we might sell out. I have no idea. But if you guys want to get your own NFT tree where we plant a physical tree as an NFT, just check out the whitelist link below and you can sign up. We only have a few spots left, but maybe y'all can grab one. But anyways, yeah, I'm dying inside, but overall super excited and East Denver was super fun. You can see my vlog about that. And I only had one mental breakdown. All right, the next career and last career update I have for you guys is YouTube. So I have been posting twice a week on this YouTube channel for the past month, which is the most amount of content I've posted in a long time consistently. And I'm just so proud of myself. I mean, if you guys look at my content, I'm not getting like crazy amount of viewership, honestly. It's it's not the best, but I am proud of myself for just sticking through it. And then who knows what I will plan to next time. I really don't know what I'm doing for March. I really want to get more viewership but it's hard like i get really <sighs> you guys know this i had talked about this a lot but i really struggle between focusing on viewership and having fun like for me i really can't do both i might not just be mentally cut out for it when I think about focusing on views which i have done before i've gotten millions of views for before per video like i've done it i was really depressed so i just don't know how to balance it that's where i'm at okay let's move on to how i'm doing physically so my body is so sore my butt hurts because i went snowboarding last weekend and it was the first time i really went snowboarding like actually and i literally tumbled down the mountain um i cried on the mountain but yeah it was so fun i'm just really hurting but i'm really enjoying myself snowboarding and surfing i went surfing yesterday so yeah all in all really cool i got my partnership with red bull extended so i did a couple ads for them as you guys can see in my tiktok but yeah it's been super fun i'm actually going to a red bull event again this saturday i'm going to be surfing and snowboarding with red bull so hopefully my ass does not break because my body's already super sore all right so how i'm doing personally i am doing a, a six out of ten personally <laughs> it sounds like i'm super depressed i'm not like a lot of good things happened this month like you know career-wise i was speaking at a conference i was traveling around the states you know i just feel really 
drained. I got into a big fight with in my personal life. I'm not gonna go into that just because I feel bad if I talk about this person on camera. But I just feel super drained. I mean, I'm fine now. I'm just tired. Like <laughs> I'm working on like three or four different projects and I'm not gonna lie. I think today it's kind of getting to me, but not in a bad way. Like all the things I'm doing is for a very purposeful reason. Like when I got burnt out, on like YouTube like three years ago, two years ago. It was because I was just making daily videos and I didn't know what I was doing. And I felt like I couldn't keep up. Like this time my burnout is just coming from like, I'm I, I'm really trying to save this world, okay? And I'm really trying to do meaningful impact. And I hope, I just really hope people care as much as I do. And I know I can't control that, but that's really where I'm at. Like I'm working so hard at NFT house. I'm really used to having no expectation for these launches. It's just, I'm not gonna lie, I do care a lot. I mean, I'm really worried because in two weeks on March 19th, they're gonna launch and I have no idea if we're gonna. <laughs> succeed and on top of that i didn't get paid for a month so if you guys don't know i worked on a really big company um project in january for this really big conglomerate brand for x8 media my agency which is another thing i do i know i do too many things but basically x8 media is doing really good we got a project but uh we basically haven't gotten paid for any of the work we've done in january and it's march it is march and we haven't gotten paid and it's around like let's just say it's around like in the middle five figures it's a lot of money uh, i haven't been paid i'm using credit cards right now <laughs> to pay people and you can tell I am drained. <laughs> the thing is, and this is what I've realized, I'm just really bad at not feeling like my work is my life. Like I will look at my bank account and be like, damn, I'm poor. And in reality, I'm not poor. I just have this mental note of like how much money I should have versus what I do. Like I have my savings account. I have tons of investments that I've saved over the years. I have a pretty healthy credit line for a 20 year old. And I just feel like I'm not enough. And it's something I'm working on. I'm really trying to feel more content with not the numbers and just like really just feeling content myself because at this point, I'm not even considered a YouTuber. Like I, you know, I don't really care about views as much anymore. I am just doing this for fun because it's actually super fun to talk with you guys and connect with y'all because I love y'all so much. I really do identify as a builder and thinker and I just need to remember who I am. Like I am not gonna be ever a multi-billionaire. That's just not who I am. And I need to be okay with that. Like I just need to be okay with like not having no money, but just being okay with doing good work and like letting the expectation go. Like I just have so high expectations for myself and I'm physically drained as you guys can tell. But the thing that has been saving me is having such a healthy relationship in support circle and having an outlet to have fun, which is snowboarding. So I really am just happy that I have such great friends and I have an amazing boyfriend and team that supports me. I have really bomb ass parents. I have a therapist that listens to me weep and cry once a week and <laughs> you guys. So I do appreciate you guys so much. And I hope you like this February update. Hopefully I get paid this fucking um, week. But until then, thank you for watching. Shout out to the comment winner. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.